In today's video, we're going to be looking at which graphical settings I use and which graphical settings will allow you to have maximum frame rate in Call of Duty Warzone for PC players. Right after this intro, guys. Alright, we're in the graphics tab here, so we're going to be looking at every single setting that allows you to get a uh, really high frame rate uh, for your PC's uh, potential, and we're just going to be looking at, you know, how you can achieve that 200 plus frame rate on Call of Duty Wars on PC. I, st I still see so many people out there that just don't have the settings correct. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs oh. some milk! So I'm going to be going through every single setting here so you guys can... Make sure you guys get the higher frame right here. So, display mode is going to be full screen. Your display monitor is obviously going to be uh, whatever your monitor is. Your display adapter is your graphics card. That that can't change. You're not changing that. So, screen refresh rate is going to be 144 for me, and for you it may be uh, it may be 60, maybe something different. So, this is just what your 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 hertz on your monitor is. So, your render resolution is going to be uh, is going to be 1920 by 1080. Some people play at higher resolutions. You can still slide this to be higher resolution. It looks sharper, but it's not going to really show a whole lot on a 1920 by 1080 monitor, which is what I have here. So, just le just you know, just leave it at standard 1920, and you won't have any issues. Anything lower will just look super blurry, so you're not going to want that. Aspect ratio is going to be automatic. Sync every frame. V-Sync is going to be disabled. Basically, what V-Sync is, is, it syncs like every frame to uh, to your to your performance and stuff like that. So you're not going to want that because it's going to cause input lag. So have that disabled. Custom frame rate. You're going to want to leave that at just like standard default. You're not going to want to push like 300 frames in the lobby. Your GPU is going to be running so hot. You don't want that. Just leave it at the standard, don't even touch that. NVIDIA highlights, this is something that goes with the graphics card. Uh, so when you have an NVIDIA graphics card, they're gonna like to have a setting where you can clip, the, the game's gonna like automatically clip stuff for you. I like to clip stuff manually, and I usually don't have NVIDIA highlights enabled in this game because it's just gonna clip random kills and random moments that I don't want clipped. So, and it's just gonna clutter your SSD, so leave that disabled. NVIDIA reflex latency, I have that enabled. I haven't, I haven't experimented a whole ton with enabled plus boost, but I know some people, I, I know some people that use it. I may uh, experiment with some of it, so I just leave mine in the middle. Just leave it enabled if you do, if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card. So, uh, display gamma is going to be uh, 2.2 if you're on a monitor, and then BT, and then the numbers for TV. If you're, I'm on a monitor here, so I'm gonna want to leave it at 2.2. All right, details and textures. Texture resolution, I have that on normal, uh, just so I can see clearly uh, on all the textures and texture filter, uh, anioso, wait, how do you say that? Aniosotropic, I don't know, normal, just leave that on normal. I just have everything on normal, I don't want to play with play with it too much, so um, particle quality, I'm going to have that on high. Bullet impacts and sprays, believe it or not, this actually saves you a couple frames, leave that on disabled. Tessellation is obviously going to be disabled because it's kind of like, it's kind of hard to explain. Changes the amount of some scene geometry which receives subdivision for improved rendering quality. No, leave that undisabled. You're not going to need that. Uh, on demand texture streaming enabled. I have no idea what the hell this is, but just leave it on enabled. Daily download limit gigabyte one uh, is mine. I, I have, these are new settings. I haven't even seen any of these settings. Streaming quality normal. Shadow map resolution. I have that on low. This, I mean, shadow map, shadow and lighting is just going to be a huge thing when it comes to FPS performance. So it's going to tank your FPS a lot if you have, if you have shadows and lighting and all that stuff. So you're going to want to turn all of that off because we're, we're, we're after targeting higher frames here. So we're going to have everything on low or disabled or I have particle lighting at normal here. So catchy uh, spots, shadows are going to be disabled. Catchy sun shadows are going to be disabled. Particle lighting is just gonna be normal I have that on just like the low to normal I don't want it to look super ugly or anything so just leave that on normal or disabled uh, DirectX ray tracing that's gonna be your RTX it's only if you have an RTX graphics card it makes everything super beautiful and super shadowy on the map that also really tanks your frames by half so we'll leave that on disabled ambient occlusion disabled SSR disabled all right so anti-aliasing is gonna basically make the game a little bit more realistic so it pretty much just like softens the edges when you have anti-aliasing on and it's pretty much the effect that ps4 and xbox one players are experiencing you're gonna want it off because it's gonna make your edges sharper and it's gonna make your whole screen very very clear and you'll notice the difference for sure when you flip it off you'll notice the difference so just leave it on off depth of field is going to be disabled filmic strength is going to be one world motion blur probably the most disgusting 
setting that ever that's ever in a video game if you want to have uh like optimized gameplay and you want to be a pro warzone streamer guys you're gonna want to have this disabled uh basically what motion blur is is that when you move your character left and right you're gonna have some kind of blur making it like a cinematic movie effect uh weapon and world motion blur uh, uh off and then film grain is gonna be zero pretty much film grain just makes it how makes it makes it a uh makes it more like a static tv so um those are the graphics settings that you're gonna want for higher frame rate 